Hey guys, today's story is the tale of two DMs. Hello everyone, this is my first post here, so I apologize if it's a little bit sucky. So here's the thing, I don't know if I'm truly in a horror game yet, but I just feel like I've screwed myself and gotten myself into a situation where I need to stay in a game that I'm not enjoying whatsoever in order to keep the game I'm GMing from falling apart. I'm in a Discord group that I found, where another GM and I are both running games with the same group every weekend. He's doing his campaign on Saturdays, while I'm doing one-shots on Sundays to keep things fresh and allow players to have a more chill, lower-stakes session. It's also worth noting that we're both playing Cyberpunk Red, which is currently less than a month old, so no one has had any experience with it whatsoever. And with that being said, this was another reason that I was running the one-shots. I was trying different parts of the system, without having to try to shoehorn them into a campaign. And the other GM was not subtle in saying that he was an oh-so-wise and experienced GM, who had been running games for years, and was an awesome storyteller. For example, when he helped me come up with a tidbit for my character's backstory, I complimented him on his idea, and his response was, Yeah, man, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I believed his jerkery would be justified by an awesome session one. However, I was wrong. He had told us that he had read the book, and that he had put a month of prep into his campaign. He also told us that he had been running a table for years, which I can only assume all of which was a lie, because this game was all sorts of problematic. And as such, I don't even know where to start. But let's start from the beginning, I guess. Our merry band of misfits are as follows. The DM, who is our antagonist, but not in a malicious way. Zolgrim, who is a good friend of mine, and joined the group with me, but he was playing a hacker. Hendrik, who is a complete stranger, but a heck of a role player after session one. He was playing a medtech. Victor, who is bordering on being that guy in a couple of ways, and likely the subject of a future story. He's our damage dealer. Timmy, who is a guy playing his first ever TTRPG and he played quite well, considering it was his first time. Yangus, not a great role player, but a really funny one. All without being game-breaking. His character made a lot of jokes and funny threats, and always got a laugh. He also did a great voice. And then finally myself, who was playing a techie character, basically a mechanic. The setup was confusing, to say the least. Which is kind of going to become a theme here, Zulgrim and I were told to connect our backstories, and we did. But the DM retconned all of it right at the beginning of the session and replaced it with some very vague You work together and owe this NPC a favor, and he sent you here. Kind of story. We'll call the NPC who sent Zulgrim and I on this mission, Sam, because he is quite relevant. Both of us were pretty bummed out since we had spent two hours yesterday, at the GM's request I might add, making a really tragic and dark backstory that we believed would have been a serious, bonding experience for our characters as friends. And I don't even think that he looked at it. So we were off to a fun start. Then, the GM roleplayed Sam hiring Hendrik for the job. And I saw just how unprepared he was. What's the job, Sam? The GM, talking through Sam, mostly doesn't answer it and starts talking about other things. He implies that it's some sort of heist but he doesn't say who or what the target is. Okay, well, what's the pay? 20%. 20%? The GM doesn't answer him. Well, how big is the take? It's a really big take. If you're gonna walk, man, I'll find a different medtech who'll do this for 20%. Hendrik, who clearly just wanted to move on. Okay, I'm in. What do I do next? And again, the GM through Sam says a lot of things all of which have nothing to do with anything relevant. He talks about coke and NPCs nobody knows, and makes jokes that don't really answer the question, eventually saying goodbye and hanging up. After this, a different NPC calls Timmy, Yangus, and Victor, and told them about the same job with similarly sparse details. It, however, was not sparse in the GM going on about things that didn't matter. Those three gathered at a bar together, and after some brief interactions amongst themselves and with one NPC, they are unknowingly done for the session. The GM would not bring it back around to them. 
And to add, at this point, we were 90 minutes into a three-hour session. They were truly the lucky ones. Zolgrim, Hendrik, and I met at some sort of airport, and we all had a short little exchange before a limo sent by Sam showed up for us, and it became even more clear that the GM was pulling all this straight out of his bum. The limo had drinks and food, and conveniently, 10 kilos of coke. All of this wasn't a real big deal until we found a secret compartment under one of the seats, which Zolgrim and I would later refer to as the Box of Endless Gifts. At first, it only had SMGs with armor-piercing ammo, and some explosives. But all of a sudden, it then had shotguns with incendiary rounds, and handguns which had explosive ammo. Two minutes later, we also found out that these handguns were actually hand cannons which did an extra 2d6 damage. Zolgrim, Hendrik, and I started divvying up the contents of the box as fast as we could so that the other players could get another chance to play. But as we kept trying to divvy it up, more and more random overpowered gear just kept magically appearing in this compartment. Eventually, we just decided to bring it up to our hotel room and worry about divvying it up later, because it started getting a little bit ridiculous. And just to quickly recap, at this point we were two hours in and we hadn't rolled once. And I haven't been able to speak to any NPCs, or gotten to talk to any of the other PCs other than Hendrik and Zolgrim. At this point, nobody has had any fun. After we put the loot in the hotel room, we tried to steal a car, the checks of which the GM had made up on the spot. He told me to add my persuasion to my role to pick the lock stealthily. He also told me that I almost died when the driver spotted me and took off, and yet I didn't lose any health points. He also told Zolgrim to add his hacking skill to a driving check, and told Hendrik to add his willpower to a shooting check. And needless to say, I'm not cool with a GM just making up rules as they go along with no consistency whatsoever. He also just created a mechanic for luck, a mechanic that already existed in the game. We were two hours in, and he just completely negated something that I had put a lot of my starting character points into. After all this, we got into a quick combat encounter with similar bullcrap mechanics that made no sense, and had absolutely no preparation put into them. And then the session ended. Now here's the stinker. My game's tomorrow, and actually has a ton of prep work that went into it. It's basically a PvP-oriented Mad Max thing, with lots of random encounters. I spent hours building the cars the players were using, carefully balancing mechanics for homebrew stuff, creating cheat sheets for the combat rules, etc. And because I'm a GM who realizes that there's a certain amount of responsibility to running a game, I read the goddamn book, cover to cover, and I know the systems like the back of my hand. And that GM is playing in the game, as well as all the other players from the session today. I had to act like I enjoyed myself to keep my game intact, as far too much work had gone into it at that point. But after tomorrow, he's going to see just how different we are in style. And so will the players. And I think then, I will sow the seeds of revolution in my players, because the game today was crap. There's no other way to say it. I barely did anything, and I was confused, and there were no mechanics. And these players were about to see the greener grass. Update! After my session today, the group is now talking about having two simultaneous campaigns. One run by the GM, whose antics were described as above, and one run by your friendly neighborhood OP. The conversation started with them asking me to make today's one-shot into a longer campaign, but I had no ideas for this, and we had already had two PC deaths. So I told them that I'd come up with a new campaign where the party was an up-and-coming rock band. Zolgrim, Hendrik, and Yangus were pumped about this, and the other players clearly really wanted to continue the one-shot but I'm sure I can win them over. The other GM has already messaged me, saying that it's probably not a great idea, and that I should get more jamming experience before I try something like that, and not run before I walk, which I've actually been jamming for quite a while, just never with him as one of my players. Although, I've never done a years-long campaign, which, let's be honest here, who the heck ever gets that far into a game with a Discord group? I've run more than enough adventures and one-shots and modules to be ready for this. And he's got an attitude like, 
That was pretty good, Ben, but we know mine's better. Which would piss me off if he wasn't horrible at it. I'm not bitter, but I am determined. And if those players liked my one-shot, wait until they get a load of my campaign. It's clear now that the only way to get this terrible campaign out of my life without destroying my group is to A. Get the other GM to end his campaign so it stops being compared to mine, or B. Get the players to revolt and say that they only want to play my game. I'm going to win this battle, or I will die trying. Either way, I'll update the post and let y'all know. Hi uh, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you would like to talk and hang out with other people, I have a Discord link in the description. But as always, have a good one.